I think the Adoration Chapel mm -hmm. is very important for people to go to relate to Him, to have mm -hmm. a personal experience, personal encounter, mm -hmm. you know, with Jesus. Let's say special relationship, exactly. right? Sometimes mm -hmm. we go to adoration and you just kneel there and you're with Him. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have nothing really to say, but just stay with Him. Mm -hmm. And His presence mm -hmm. in your life is felt in a very powerful way. And then your thoughts will lead you towards Him naturally. Yeah, because that's a silence moment between you and mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah. you know, I think that's that's how you feel also before mm -hmm. you met, you know, yes. Paul. Yeah. Is that how you feel also? You go to adoration chapel, yes. you go to church, and just put yourself <clears throat> there and let God talk. Because sometimes also we talk too much. We make a monologue. <laughs> yes, we call yes. in Spanish. We just talk, but doesn't want to listen. Yes, yes. And so listening is a very important factor. And also yes. opening up, say, God, you know I'm here, you know I love you. I know you only want the best for me, so I'm here to try to do your will. Help me to accomplish doing your will. And not, it's not only in the Adoration Chapel, but when you're in the streets, when you're in the car. In the light. You're always uh, having this conversation, this feeling that you, you notice, you realize the presence of God in your life. Yes. It's not only a presence that, of course, it's in the Holy Eucharist in the, in the most a powerful way but also when you're everywhere he can be there with you and he is there with you yeah so it's great I'm so happy that he's watching everything I do some people would say oh no I don't want God to watch me doing this or that no he's yeah. there in every moment of your life you have to allow him to enter you to you know and then you have to open your heart and mind to him 100% oh, we but need to, to to raise the batteries to charge the batteries yes and, yes but in your case it's already there the faith is very strong mm -hmm. I think the strength of Paul is that because he knows what he wants in life he knows that God is above all is yes. what you need right mm -hmm. he's always in your mind because of your communication with mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. that's why I think he's and guiding I'm thankful. you yes. and I'm thankful for that so I say, well, I'm always saying thank you and I'm sorry. Like we say with our children <laughs> at night time. Yeah. And during the whole day, I'm always saying, oh, thank you for everything is going so great. I feel good. I'm, I'm breathing. I'm not coughing at this moment. Why? Why am I breathing? Well, because you are there. Yes, yes. I feel okay. Nothing is painful. Th thank you. So all these little things, I'm always thankful. And yeah. I think that's what he likes. Yeah. For us, it's a small thing, but for him, it means a lot already. A faithful life is, is, is done by the small details, day by day, yes, not extraordinary yes. things. So we have to try to live every moment. We only have this moment, like St. Teresa of the Child Jesus said. Yes, We only yes. have this moment. This moment yes. So, so Paul, it. so you travel a lot, you know, from the five continents of the world, you have been there. Don't you find it boring that you have been there already? It's the same <laughs> kind of things to show to the audience your skill, your gift, and then go to the hotel, and then come back, and then take your plane to go to another, and the same things happen. Don't you find it's boring that life is so monotonous? Oh, never, mm -hmm. never, because it, every show, there's always people watching, and uh, I feel that the people who are sitting watching, it might be the first time that they watch me, and it might be the last time they watch okay. me. So I don't have another chance to give them my best performance. So I only have this opportunity. So yeah. every show is like the only show. So when you started, you know, with your family traveling together, what is the difference when you travel with your family and now you have your wife with you and children? What is the difference between oh, that big, kind of experience? Big difference. Before I was traveling with my, with my parents, yes. and I felt the protection of my parents traveling around the world, so they would guide me. Ah, then okay. for a long period of time, for over 10 years, I was traveling alone. I, I was not married. I didn't have a girlfriend, and I was praying every morning, consecrating my future wife to God, mm -hmm. and finding um, interesting girls in show business, and started a courtship, but it didn't work out because they didn't have the same values. Yes. Or starting uh, getting to know girls in, in the Catholic Church or yes, in yes. Catholic movements. It's, it looked interesting because they had the same values, but the relationship didn't work because I was moving around. Yes. And, and for 10 years, I was traveling around, and I felt God was calling me to purify um, the way I had lived my life before. Yes. In what sense? In the sense that before, because of television, because of the media, I saw, I thought that women had a lesser value than what they really have. Yes. Because men were using women for their own pleasure, um, and I wasn't realizing how important the, the, the position of a woman is. It's so important. They are mothers. 
they are the image of Our Lady. Yes. And uh, they, they need to be respected. They need to be loved. Yes. They need to be taken care of. Uh, as men, we have a responsibility to, to, to pamper them, to help them, to, to be there for them. Yes. That's our responsibility. As they have also the responsibility to be with us yes. uh, as wives, as mothers. So it's a beautiful relationship that sometimes is bro broken by the social media, by uh, television, by even um, uh, commercials or whatever. And, and that I needed to be purified for those 10 years to realize what, how important this, the position, the, uh, the values of women are, and not only of my wife, every single woman. Every single woman that I see, I, I say thank you, God, because the, you have put women here on earth for, yes. for, for, the, for the fertility of mm -hmm. life. Usually with men, they say, it's easy to change your wife. But you cannot change your mother. <laughs> so, <laughs> but the, I think yeah. the problem is that people are putting employment before family. Yes, career. They, yeah. And how can you compare that to family? You cannot compare employment. It's, employment and career is important. You need yes. to, to live. But it's not as more important than family. Family is forever. Family are the bonds that will stay always. And your career can change. Money can come and go. This fluctuates, but not your family. Your family, you have to, you Always should take care. There, yes. That's the most important. It's for us. I mean, I get um, job offers to go work here or there, but I need to go alone. They will not um, take my family because we are five. Yes. Soon to be six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they're not going to pay for these expenses. Yes, and I yes. said, well, I'm sorry, I cannot take this contract. I cannot take this job because we are always together. The whole family mm -hmm. travels and goes together around the world. So family does, in our, in our situation, comes first. Mm -hmm. And God blesses this because that doesn't mean that I have become without a job. No, I get other offers because God sees this faithfulness and, and he puts other situations in which he helps us to continue working and performing around the world yeah. together as a family. So yes. you show them prayers. Jesus is very important in the middle of your marriage yes. that whatever you do, you teach your children to start mm -hmm. praying, you know. Yes. And this kind of things in showbiz is not very easy because mm -hmm. the temptations, you know, yes. is really quite, how do you call that, uh, quite powerful. Yeah, well, right? it's easy. There are the easy temptations yes, most of yes. the time. But we yeah. will talk about that later. Sa pagbabalik po ng Power Tonight with Elvira.